A party's born, gave birth to us. Strings come round, I'm the first to touch. Then Pete alert, my clothes got pulled so much that damn my shirt sure grew up. The club doors always opened up, on oh, never close like burning cuss. Women dropping it low, I drop twice and then reverse on one like whoa. What's going on guys? My name is Derpy Curly and welcome back to another Pokemon discussion with you guys. Today I'm going to be discussing to you guys things that are wrong with the Pokemon franchise. And you know what? It's been on my mind for quite some time now. But let me tell you tell it to you guys straight right now. The company seems that they just stopped taking their time. You wanna know why Sun and Moon did okay? They put a little bit of thought into the game to spice it up for the fans. Pokemon, let's go into Eevee and Pikachu is by far just a slap on game. They put in what we wanted since Heart Gold, and that's walking with your Pokemon, and much more, of course. Hooray! But the fact that they aren't even trying anymore is absolutely annoying. Games like Mario and Zelda have always been good, but they took years to come out with Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. And those games, they came out crispy as hell, dog. What are the most well-known games if I do say so myself. If the company sat down, sold Pokemon side games like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Pokemon Rangers and worked for at least four years on the new main series game, I'm sure that they would have more Pokemon ideas to create. And they would have a better online system. And they would have a much better story for you to play through. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, but Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are actually pretty good. <laughs> you know what? I didn't like it. You wanna know why? Because the online system sucked. And I didn't even get to catch Pokemon the old fashioned way where we used to battle them. I missed that. But let me tell you guys how the franchise is also failing. By not continuing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the series, they have been dragging down in sales. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon has been a game that has done so well in terms of sales. The fact that they would release them after a year or so after the main game has been all said and done, their sales were through the roof for that game. That wasn't even for the main series. For them to not continue doing that strategies was honestly a bad idea in my opinion. Many fans enjoyed the series and have been wondering when is the next game going to be coming out. It would be perfectly fine if they switched the main game to the Switch and keep these other side games on the 3DS. Sure, go for it. You could still make a lot of money by doing this, but by not continuing the series, uh-uh. Uh-uh, it's not going to be a good idea, boo. Okay, let me tell y'all something right now. Many fans have bought the original Pokemon series, the original Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series, 5.90 mil, okay? I don't even want to hear this. Somebody's gonna be like, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was even that good. You know what? That's I don't care. I don't care. It was good. Because in terms of sales, they did so well. They did so well. But let me tell you guys another thing that they have been failing at. Pokemon Ranger series not continuing as well. The Pokemon Ranger games did well in terms of sales. When it came to story as well, they were on top of it. They gave such a heartfelt moment and that the fans enjoyed. When people saw Manaphy in the Temple of the Sea, so many so many people wanted to play as a Pokemon Ranger, including myself, thanks to Jack Walker. Pokemon Rangers sold 2.93 million copies. Pokemon Rangers Shadow Shadows of Almia sold 2.35 mil copies, and Pokemon Ranger Guardian Signs sold 1.53 mil copies. These are as high as the others, but they still managed to make great sales. If they took their time with these games, I'm sure that the Pokemon franchise would be even higher than it already is. Kingdom Hearts is coming out this month. It's about to slap so hard that it leaves everyone speechless. Just imagine the Pokemon franchise just doing the same thing. They're just taking their sweet time. They take at least like four, five years and they give us the best game. You know how much they would sell? Especially with the merchandise on the side too. Because a lot of people love these plushies. A lot of people love these action figures as well. They just want all these sort of things. But just imagine if they actually took their time, sat down, gave some ideas to each other, and then, you know what? Let's even get at this even better. What if, and stay with me now, what if we had the better online system? Because I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna go in depth on why 
Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu have trash online systems. Now, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, that online system, it was just bearable, okay? You can, you can bear it out. You would get disconnected sometimes, but it was just, eh. And Oras, it was okay. It was definitely decent enough for you to play through. But for Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, out of the question, no. They need to fix that. I don't care what anybody's trying to say. A lot of things need to be fixed in this franchise because so many people are just thinking, well, you know what? It's just going to sell because it's Pokemon. Nobody really cares if it becomes good or not. No! No! You need to give us what we want. People want to see good heartfelt moments in the original Pokemon games, man. They want to see everything that we have. Give us what we want, Pokemon. I know y'all listening, because y'all always watching people. So give me what I want. Anyways, those are just my thoughts for Pokemon and their franchise and what's wrong with it, in my opinion. Take it with a grain of salt of how you will. But if, let me know what you guys think about this video and tell me what else do you think is wrong with the Pokemon franchise down in the comment section below. I definitely would love to see your thoughts. As always, hope you guys had an awesome day. And if you guys did, be sure to slash that like button. Slash that subscribe button if you're new here. And grab yourself a burrito and some Kool-Aid. And I'll be sure to check all you cool cats on the flip side. Peace!